Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing discs and pads on this Renault Fluence. Uh, there's a few, there's going to be a good few videos on this car because there's, there's work needs done. There's a lot of kind of maintenance work needs done on the car, but it's, the car is running 100%. It's a great car, it just needs a few uh, maintenance things sorted out. So we're going to be doing discs, pads, and actually replacing the calipers because on the caliper, the little, how would you say, the little spring unit that when you pull the handbrake, that tightens, that's seized on it, which is very common actually with Renaults. I had that with my Renault Traffics, all of them. Um, so we're going to replace calipers as well, but that'll be a separate video. Uh, I'll just show you how we do the discs and pads on this car at the moment. So as you can see, we have it jacked up and I have the jack underneath there. Okay, we'll get the wheel off. See the discs. I should see here now. As you can see, the discs are, are not great. Pads not great to non existent. This is the clip I was on about here that's seized even when you pull the handbrake, it's, it's not moving, it's not releasing. So it's not so we'll get all that sorted by replacing the caliper as well, but we'll do that in a separate video. I just want to focus on getting the discs off now. These discs have the bearing all built into it, so I'm going to get them stripped down. I won't have the parts until tomorrow morning, but we'll get them all stripped down, out of the way, tidy, and we'll get working on it. Have it ready. Okay, so we're going to start with removing the caliper first, and then we'll get the, the bracket off after that. Uh, and the caliper here, it's, um, I'm going to try it. Yeah, 13 mil. It's a 13 mil. I use 13 mil flexi ratchet for it. And we'll get that off and then I'll get back to the bracket. Okay guys, so we're going to take off this uh, this bracket here now. The slide pins are actually good, but I'm going to obviously re-grease all that later. Uh, these are the sockets we need, the bolts we need to get off now. And if I can find in here, it's a T60 and there's two of them. There's one here and there's one here. So it's a... T60 that goes in and that's on a three so I'll need a three quarter for that's not half inch three quarter or three eighths sorry three eighths okay I'll get back to you when I have them off that's it there give you a better look at it T60, so there's one more to go. Job done. <laughs> Barely the brackets off. I'm going to clean all them up now and spray them. Now that we have the dust cap off, we need to we need to get this nut off. And if I am correct in thinking, it's the same as my own. It's a to 30 mil socket so I get working on that and I'll get back to you when I get the disc and stuff off okay that came out fairly easy now, as you can see these ones come with the bearings already in place and is that some of the bearing I see out there already no, it's not no. So, we we'll have that out. We'll get this all cleaned off here and spray down. Just be very careful of the speed sensor. Very careful when you're cleaning around that. Yeah, and I'll get all this all cleaned down, ready and fancied up for tomorrow. Okie dokie. 
Now we have the new brake calipers, or brake discs. New brake discs, they have the, the bearing built into them. So just before I install them, I'm just gonna give them a quick, quick sweep down. Don't really need to because it has the coat in it anyway and it's gonna burn off. So, have all the area cleaned up here now, ready to go. as well and dust cap uh, it's 220 newton meters to tighten this axle nut as I call it so I'll get going on that I'm just trying to try and find my tripod I can't find it anyway Now oh, folks, we have the new discs, new discs on, and we'll have the pads on soon enough. So we will. I'm gonna be doing the calipers now, Swip, swapping over the calipers. Uh, that'll be a separate video, but I might show them at the end of this. Now we have the new caliper on, new pads in, new discs. I'll just give them a wipe down where I touched them a small bit. Now I've taken out the. Uh, Taking out the bleed nut, let gravity do its thing for a few minutes. And I'll get back to it and I'll do the other side. And I've, the, the handbrake is reconnected as well. So I'm not gonna video the other side. So I'm not, but you get the general idea. Now folks, that's that car finished now. I uh, just wanna do a little bit of adjusting on the handbrake cable now. And that'll be it, that'll be actually a separate video again.